Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. If you wanna see me take these items and create beautiful wall sconce, stay tuned. All right, y'all, so let's jump right into it. I have been looking for a beautiful wall sconce for my dining room, and I have not been able to find anything. So as I was browsing on YouTube a few weeks back, I ran across a beautiful set. I found this on Luann Skaggs' YouTube page. She did a beautiful job, so I decided to give it a try. Right here you see me adding some E6000 to the cooling rack. And I'm also going to add more E6000 to the actual floor wrap to make sure that it sticks. I'm going to repeat this step gluing down the floor wrap to the cooling rack until I have the entire cooling rack covered. Lucky for me, I already had some leftover acrylic gems from my Dollar Tree I had picked up a while ago. So I'm gonna use these to glue them on to the floor wrap. Um, on Luann's channel, she actually glued all over her entire rack gemstones, but I only glued mine in the middle. So now I'm all done. I have my gemstones glued directly in the middle of my sconce. Now it's time for the mirrored adhesive paper. I'm going to cut this in strips and you'll see what we're going to use it for. First, you're going to use poster board. You're going to cut your poster board into strips to trim the edges of your wall sconce. And then you'll come back with the mirrored adhesive paper and apply it to your poster board strips. Right here, I'm just showing you how I cut out my strips of poster board and how I'm just going to use the adhesive mirrored paper to apply it on top of them. These are my acrylic gem beads that I purchased from Amazon. On the end of the gems, they have little round hooks. So I'm getting ready to apply them to the end of the cooling rack. Now I'm just going back and adding a little bit of hot glue so that my gems stay in place exactly where I want them. I've already added a little bit of hot glue to the edges of my cooling rack and now I'm going to apply the mirrored strips that I made with the poster board.
Now I'm just going to cut some foam board pieces out to cover the back of the sconce so we can hang it on the wall. I'll be using E6000 and my hot glue gun to make sure that the foam attaches securely to the cooling rack. These wall sconces turned out to be so gorgeous. I actually made this set for my mom, but putting them up against the wall in my dining room, it just goes with everything. So I'm definitely gonna have to go back and make me a pair now.